Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another business vlog for you, another Dash Mail vlog. Uh, it is Sunday today, so I opened on Thursday. So a little update. I have orders here which need to be sent off and here's all my silicon stuff. I haven't had time to unpack it. My balloons are still going strong, which is awesome. And yeah, I've cleared, made room in my shell for the silicon stuff so I can start unloading that now. Um, I've got a bit of a mess going on, but hopefully I can just set up, make up some sets and everything. They do have these bags that um, the manufacturer sent to come in so they're like frosted um and they have like a little ziploc thing but yeah they are very big i don't know why they sent such a big bag but i've been putting the sets when people buy them in this so yeah i'll make up some sets put them in those and um yeah there's that Hey guys, it is the 13th of June today and I have just placed my first order with some wholesale toys, which is really exciting. I've ordered only like really small amounts, like really small quantities, just to see how they go because I can of course order more, but just like as a little test thing. So I spent just over $500 ordering those. And then I am working on designing my own milestone discs, which is really exciting. So I've pretty much got all of them done. I'm just getting some quotes on different manufacturing places that do them. Um, I'm also in the process of getting some clothing, organized and samples and everything. Oh my God, I'm like, they've sent me pictures and it looks so lovely. <gasps> but the only thing is with the clothing is I need to sell a lot of what I already have to then pay for the clothing. So I don't know how it's going to work or when I'll be able to order them, if I'll ever be able to order them, but it's just the way of business. There's so many things that I'm doing right now. Like, I don't know how I'm even got my head screwed on. I've got a couple of orders to pack today. What else? I really need to fix the weight of some items because I really stuffed up. Like I stuffed up so bad. Of course, I want to send things um, that... I can send as uh, a large letter so when they comply with the weight and the size of the letter, the large letter, I can send them as a letter and say postage costs for you guys or my customers. But um, I went through Squarespace, I weighed everything, put everything in and I thought silly, like I just didn't even think that everything that weighed light enough would be able to send in a letter, but that isn't the case. I'll show you one. Okay, so in Australia, you can send a letter if it is under 125 grams, I think is a certain letter, and then over that is another letter, but it needs to be under 20, so 22 millimeters. So perfect example, I have two turbans here. They are both extremely light in weight, I think around like 30 grams, if that. However, one can be sent by letter and one cannot. This, is like relatively flat like it's really flat it's it can be sent as a letter this is our knit turban and it cannot be sent as a letter because of this <laughs> also happened with the dummy cases as well they are light as anything and yeah so um, I sent a few through hopefully they're fine I tried to like package them down so they were squished <laughs> so there were a few packages, quite a few packages that came through where the customer only paid $3 shipping, but I needed to send it as a package, which was $9 uh, and 15 cents. So I fixed that after I realized, um, and that was on launch day. Um, but like little things like that happen and you just can't foresee them. Like it just... So anyway, I need to go into the back end system because now things that like the shipping's a little bit off with the weight. So I need to figure out a system where I can, yeah, make it work. I don't know. It's a little bit confusing. I have ordered more silicon toys. Um, I've ordered, reordered the ones that I have and I have ordered some new ones, which is really cool. So some new colors. Um, I ordered some like round stacker ones and a few other different colored rainbows, which is really cool. And some stacking cups as well. Probably in about maybe 
two weeks I might receive them and I don't know how long this takes for the wholesale to come because they are in Australia but I believe they're in New South Wales so I don't know with lockdown if they can if they're operating but I did call them before so maybe they are at work so I'm just trying to think of things for like my next like you know continually have new products coming out um and then I really need to work out my like link my Facebook account because I don't have like I have a fake Facebook account just so I can access business but I don't really do I, I've never done Facebook ads so I need to do all that and I don't know how it works because I just it's just a whole nother world and I don't know how it works and I'm gonna have to figure it out and yeah if you've got any advice let me know it's really frustrating because there are so many like videos you can watch and they're like do this like watch this like hour long video for Facebook ads or watch this five hour long course or something for to learn about this and it's just like I simply don't have the time it's really frustrating yeah Dean's on holidays this week so I have a bit of extra time but then also I need to do other things and like film YouTube videos and look after Daisy when Dean's not here and yeah I've just got a lot going on in my mind so yeah there's a little update for you um, but really happy with how everything launched so so grateful for everyone who's supported me so far by buying something, making an order. Um, it feels really, really good to be able to pack them. I've also, what I also wanted to set out to do like a t one TikTok video a day or an Instagram reel per day, but I'm just really struggling with content ideas. I don't know why I've just hit like a real big block. Okay. So I'm just going to pack some orders. Okay. So the first order that I have is for Elise. She has picked out two of the woolly bear beanies, this beautiful charcoal color. So pretty. And then this dusty pink color. This one is actually our most popular color so far. And then she just got a dummy clip in dusk. So beautiful so i'm going to package these ones up for elise now she has actually asked for less packaging as well and i'm going to pop it in one of our satchel and write her a thank you card okay i am going to pop that in and then it up and then pop her sticker on and it is all ready to go okay so now i have an order for jessica she has picked out the ripped bow turban in vanilla and the dummy case in dust And lastly, we have an order for Samantha. Now, Samantha is actually an influencer. She has a YouTube channel and Instagram. She had a baby earlier this year, so she picked out some awesome items. The Woolly Bear Dusty Pink Beanie. We also have the Complete Brush Set. It comes with these three, well, two brushes and a comb, so they're absolutely stunning. Um, very, very lovely pick. She picked out a sun teether in rose and then also a silicon suction plate with a fork in rose. So I have a big calico bag that I'm going to pop them all in. I'm going to pop them in a black box like so and then I'll write her a thank you note. And this one gets some packing tape. And label on top. All ready to go. Please excuse my appearance. <laughs> um, I've had a really big day today. I had Pilates in the morning and then I had to take Daisy to an x-ray and an appointment. And then I had heaps of emails and just everything to catch up on. Oh, Dean just got home. But I have made a massive order it is the first order of some clothing items for Dashmel and I'm oh my god I'm so excited about it they are body suits um, I've got long and short sleeve ones coming Daisy's been trying it out for 
I don't know, like a month or so. They just, they wear so well. They're great quality. They just, they're, they're beautiful. <laughs> it's so great. It just made me think like with this business, I know this is going to happen all the time. I know that I'm going to like launch things, make money and then just spend it straight away just on new product. Like, <laughs> and I just wonder how long that process happens until you kind of like can sit and catch your breath. It's a good feeling because I'm so excited about these new products because I have those coming in. Um, I created my own pregnancy milestone discs and uh, wardrobe dividers as well. And I've got the wholesale toys um, as well. I only have one of these left, which is crazy. So um, I've got a few there, but I need to pack some more orders, but only one left and then it sold out for a couple weeks. <laughs> crazy I don't know like today I was in a bit of like a I don't know I, this morning I just felt like everything was going wrong like I stuffed up with Daisy's appointment and like I just was in a mood and now I just like feel really good I also have been receiving like messages and comments and emails about you guys getting your orders and oh from like a business owner point of view it's just like when you're having a shit day and then you get like awesome messages and comments it just like really uplifts your mood like so much you guys know i'm an emotional person <laughs> like excuse my tears but um it's just like it's such a good feeling because i've had a passion for like this stuff for you know a while like and all these things i've been trying out with daisy and she loves them and I've been obsessing over them for so long and now I can finally share them with you guys and you love them too. And I guess that's, you know, where I connect with you guys. Like, yeah, it's a really cool feeling. <laughs> so anyway, I just need to come on and have a little babble that like a day can start out not so good and then end up really good. And I'm so excited, like so excited that you guys are loving the products and you're happy with them. And um, I've done my best. I, there was a few stuff ups. Did she order? I don't know. It was with the star stacker and the rainbow stacker. And she ordered one and I sent her the wrong one. And then she emailed. I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'll send you the other one. And um, you can send me a... And I, I'll include like a satchel for you to send back the other one when you can. And she's like, oh, actually, I love it so much. I'll just buy this one if you can still send the other one. <laughs> Um, and then someone else received a turban and I don't know how it got through the cracks, but it was like stuck in the other side. And actually, I think I need to reply to her message, but I sent her a new one anyway. Cause like, I, it's so crazy. Cause I'll show you. And you might've seen when we were tagging them anyway, but when we tagged them all, I put my hand in them and went like that. So I'm going to blame Dean on my mom because I don't know how it got through the cracks and like I mean with anything that is produced there's going to be faulty things so I do have like a pile of like of hats and turbans that didn't pass the quality check and that's fine um I've contacted the supplier I'd need to send them the total numbers of everything but um yeah it's just these things happen and I guess you just as a business owner you just need to replace a faulty item and that's cool Oh, and someone told me there's been a, there was a few messages like about the website. I had a spelling error in one of them. I wrote loose instead of lose. <laughs> and then um, someone today said that my mealtime link was wasn't working. And I checked it and it was broken. And I guess that's one of, when you're building a website, you can just overlook so many different things. And that I guess was one thing that I didn't check that link, um, but I fixed it straight away and I let her know. So um, yeah, you know, been very, very, very busy, <laughs> but it's good. I don't know what I'm gonna do when Dean goes back to work cause he's had this week off work. Um, so, and I still need to edit my launch video as well. So haven't had time to do that. I found a little TikTok mojo. So I just made one for tomorrow and I've been just looking at sounds and other people's videos to get inspiration. And I've thought of a few ideas, but I just need to work out the best way to get the sounds from like certain songs onto a TikTok. There's a little update. I'm excited. 
I hope you guys are excited. I think I'll end this vlog here. It's probably got enough footage anyway. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.